Welcome back to Daytime on Monday. As you probably know, I was in Jersey City yesterday. Mizar was in Milburn. The 12 and Out Towns tour continues today. Yes, and they are certainly keeping busy today. James Gregorio teams up with Desiree Berenger in Cranford. James. Good day, Cynthia. Yeah, we're enjoying a nice start to the day here. We did enjoy a nice start to the day. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures are warming into the upper 60s. A very pleasant day here in Cranford and throughout much of New Jersey as well. It really has been a good time out here. It's a lovely little community, a bedroom community right outside New York City, only about 45 minute train ride with a bustling downtown area with, with the sense of community. It's very clean. It's very idyllic. It really is a nice spot to be right here in Union County. Having said that, let's take a look at your forecast. Uh, what we're seeing the forecast here, we are looking at your satellite and radar point of view here, and we are looking at lots of sunshine over the area. A storm system going by to the north and east of us. High pressure building on in. This high pressure system will be bringing us warmer winds. Your forecast weather map showing what's happening here showing exactly that scenario. One storm system moving away from us, a fair weather system, a high pressure system moving on in. As the high moves on in, it'll bring warm southwesterly winds. Those warm southwesterly winds will be bringing us high temperatures into the upper 60s and right around 70 degrees. Your forecast then for today shaping up like this. Highs into the upper 60s with that warm southwesterly wind. We will be looking at uh, slightly breezier conditions this afternoon as the two pressure systems are fairly close to each other. Tonight, your forecast goes like this overnight lows into the upper 40s. It's mostly clear and it's rather mild compared to the last couple of evenings. And the extended plan looks great. Lots of sunshine throughout the remainder of the work week into the week and the only fly in the ointment may be a backdoor cold front moving close to us on Saturday, although I think that will be rather weak and of not much consequence to us. That is a look at the forecast, but keeping on the Cranford theme, we sent photojournalist Rich O'Brien out and he came back with some sights and sounds from Cranford. There's a real sense of community and a real sense of belonging and people work together to make it a nice town to live in. Jump over there. I lived here as a youngster and then I moved away for a few years and then uh, my wife and I were looking for a community to move back to and we chose Cranford. It was um, uh, easy decision for us, I guess. Our farm has been here since 1905. Uh, we have the last active farm in Cranford, one of, I think, the last four or five in Union County. Do you want white or bi color today? Bi -color. Cranford used to be a farming community back in the uh, late 1800s. There's not many towns that have uh, small farms left, so we feel we provide a little bit of uh, uh, history. For a small community, I, we have one of the largest percentages of open land, parks per acre than uh, any other county, I believe, in New Jersey. Cranford is nicknamed as the Venice of New Jersey, and that's because of the Rawway River that uh, winds through the town. Most of the people that come to Cranford are from the tri-state area, and uh, so, so, so they do have roots to the, to the general area, but uh, they, they lay their roots down in Cranford, and most people I know are happy here. All right, well, as you just saw and heard, Cranford is a lovely town, and most of the people we spoke with here in Cranford have been here all of their lives. It is such a great place to live and work that a lot of folks don't want to leave, and they've established their roots and had their families here as well, and the town continues to grow and prosper with a population of around 25,000 residents. So uh, it has a small town charm, but yet is close enough to some of the bigger metropolitan areas to get you in and out of New York City and Newark and, and some of the other locations easily so you can live in a great spot and work elsewhere if need be or if the situation warrants that. So that's what's happening out here from Cranford. Let's send it back to Cynthia in the studio. Hey James, I'm not so sure if you want to leave. I saw you having a great time this morning, jumping around, dancing. Yeah, those rebounders were good. That's a great little exercise, mm -hmm. you know. I'm, I'm, I think I might still be a little winded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, James. Well, sure. coming up in the next half hour of our daytime edition, News 12 New Jersey.